Good evening, I'm Brian Reagan and this is Tyler Kelly. And we welcome you to our Twilight Talks on Baptism. And before we move to Matthew 28, and some of you are gonna go, wait, we already covered that. I know, but we're gonna let the Gospel of Matthew teach us some stuff. Um, Tyler, go on ahead and read Matthew 7, 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. All right. Not everyone who says to him, Lord, Lord, but only those who do the will of the Father in heaven. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when we come over to Matthew 28, 18 through 20, it says, Then Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and in earth, on earth. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things I have commanded you. And I remember, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. If Jesus gave us this command, that means this command is the Father's will. Mm -hmm. The moment someone says you don't have to do this, and, and, and I want you to understand something here. Is there a command that's important but not essential? Now let that one sink in. Is there a command, and is there a command from Jesus that's important but not essential? To the best of our knowledge, Tyler, did Jesus waste his words? No, probably not. Do me a favor, read me, uh, turn over and find me John 12, 48 through 50. John 12, 48 through 50 says... He who rejects me and does not receive my words is that which judges him. The words which I, that I have spoken will judge him in the last day. For I have not spoken on my own authority, but the Father who sent me gave me a command what I should say and what I should speak. And I know that his command is everlasting life. Therefore, whatever I speak, just as the Father has told me, so I speak. As the Father told me, so I speak. Hmm. I don't speak of my own. I speak what the Father tells me to speak. The word that I've spoken will judge you in the last day. Mm -hmm. Nothing Jesus said was anything other than what the Father told him to say. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, teach. What do we teach? We teach people about who Jesus is, about his death, his burial, his resurrection. We teach people what the expectations are of being a citizen of his kingdom at least the basic requirements. And then if they say, you know, I believe that, I want to be part of it. I want to, I want to become a citizen of that. Then we baptize them. And then we take the rest of their life, refining and teaching them, just as we refine and teach one another, and we keep on bringing new people in. The moment someone says, this is important, but not essential. You know, it's an amazing thing. I've never had anyone ever tell me that it's important, but not essential to make disciples. I've never had anyone tell me that it's important, but not essential to teach them to do whatever Jesus commanded. I've only had people tell me it's important but not essential to baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Many will say to him that day, Lord, Lord. If you get rid of all of your religious, false conditioning, lie programming, and Jesus, we're looking at you on a job site and you doing what he said here correctly was essential to you having money 
for a job well done to pay your bills and feed your family? Would you go back to Jesus and say, look, we'll get to the baptism thing in about three or four months, but you need to go on ahead and pay me because I finished the job, G. Or J. You go, no, man, you couldn't do that. Why would you throw out something that common sense when it's eternal life? Unless it was a lie from Satan that has infiltrated Western Christianity and the denominations and even has infiltrated some of our own brothers. That's the only way you can twist that is if you've taken in Satan's lie. But the Father, that's his will because Jesus said it because Jesus never did anything and said anything that wasn't the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. So I want to encourage you, if you haven't been baptized and you want more information about how to get right with God, email me, lakebutlerchurchofchrist at gmail.com. Send, uh, send us your question, whatever. And if you disagree with me, Send me your disagreement. Show me how common sense that it doesn't say what it means and mean what it says. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We bid you good night.